What is up guys? I uh, want to show you a new plugin that I've been using loads lately called XO. And what XO is, it's a drum sampler. So you load all your sample bullshit, sorry. You load all your sample packs into XO, like your cashmere sample packs, whatever sample packs you got to splice, you can actually hook splice up with this. So whenever you download some on splice, it will automatically, well, I need to go and actually refresh mine now. See, it says Chris Bain splice needs refresh. So let's do that. Because I've downloaded more stuff off splice now, it'll add this to the library. Nice. Okay. So. First of all, we're going to set this to the host. We're going to do it on play. Meaning that when we press play, we get the sound as opposed to when it's on this one here. We press play. It doesn't happen. You have to press play on here for it to work. But we'll do it for that one. So this has got all of our samples in here. He kicks over there. So actually, let me just walk you through the interface. To the very left, you've got your lower end frequency sounds. So that'd be your kicks. To the right, the further right you go, the more high frequency it goes. The further up you go, the shorter the sample. And the further down you go, the longer the sample. Really, really helpful for, you know, when you want to dial in on stuff. So first of all, let's reset everything. So reset all sounds. So that gets rid of all the samples that comes default. And let's reset the sequencer. So, okay, let's let's try and look for a kick. Cool. Let's go for a live sound and drum beat. So let's go to edit. And we'll do... Don't know why it's starting now, two seconds. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do an A, B sequence. So that means sequence A and B. So we can change the drum pattern over two uh, sequences. Now, the cool thing about this is you can, you can change velocity in here by just, you make one of the points and you just drag down a little bit. Make another one. It'll be the same as what you just last did. Just track that one up a little bit. Okay, so let's go get a snare. We'll go have a live sound in snare as well. Let's come in here, let's go back to sequence A. We'll put the snare there, full velocity. And we're gonna go to B and just right click and press revert to clone, which will just copy pattern A. Nice. Okay, so what can we do in here? What we can do is we can change the sample. Which is great for helping shape the drums that you want. You can also do that in a similar way without coming into this with this here. So you've got transient, hold, and decay. Decay, turn it down. Well, and I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that all of these you can automate as well. You can, that's absolutely wicked. You can automate all these parameters. So, like on a build up for a snare, you could have the snare getting shorter and shorter and shorter as it builds up. Absolutely wicked. Okay, what else can we do? We can change the pitch. We can do the tone, which is the EQ, like if we want to make it darker. Uh, we can send it to an effect. We can put on like a big hall reverb and send that. Too long. Turn the tone up. We can add effects to to the overall master, so we can go like a. Uh, I like the fuzzy one. 
we can do an overall wicked uh, we could soft clip it stop it starting what else can we do let's turn this off for a sec right okay so here this is currently being sent to the master of XO. What you can do if you wanted to, the way I've got mine set up is I've got each one of these eight channels going to a different bus. So this one's going to bus one, this one's going to bus two and so, so on. So if we open up a channel here and we'll send this one to go to bus two and we go to here and we go from the input, we choose XO and then we choose bus two and then we go in you can now see that we're getting this snare coming through here which is really cool because now you have full control over this channel as if you just put the snare on this channel itself the only thing you don't have control over is the reverb that you added on here so you, if you're going to do it that way you might want to add reverb separately What else can we do? So let's send this back to the master for now. Right, so the the probably the main thing I love about this plugin is the fact that we've got this kick. It sounds cool on its own, but it doesn't fit the track. So what you can do is choose a similar sound. As you can hear, it's it's choosing all live sounding samples. So we can we, we leave it there and we just go. And you can do all the same stuff. You can come in here, you can. That's, that is amazing. We do the same with the snare. So click on the snare there. Haven't figured out how to rename these yet. So it's, it's just kick one and kick two. I don't even know if you can, but we can use a similar one there. Let's go with that one. That's so cool. What we can do as well is we can go to the search function. And if you just wanted to look at snares. Like I say, you, your longer ones down here. And shorter up here. And you can do the same with any of them. You can do it with kicks. You can do it with your cymbals. But yeah, so you can use the search function and find, just dial in on what you want, where it's a hi-hat, you, you can have closed or open. Um, now let's talk about exporting. So let's get rid of this from there. Actually, no, we need, we need a thingy there. So let me just quickly add in like a hi-hat pattern. Let's go with that one. Clone, spot A, we'll do some velocity stuff. Actually, I don't want to clone that. Oh, here's another cool thing as well. You can add a groove. So what we can do is we can send this. Sorry, turn groove on. Take all these ones off. We just want to add a groove to this one here. so cool let's turn it off for now though so let's say we've we've spent a long time on it we've got our pattern everything we want all the sounds we come to the export tab first time you use it you'll have to set up an export path i've just got mine to go into desktop then you hit render waves 
And now you've got a few options. You've got your hold beat as a WAV file here, which could be cool, but I'm guessing that we want some control here. So what we can do, so you can take the process sample, say you want to just the snare, you can take just the snare. We could take all the stems which is probably going to be my go-to. So now we've got. And it's got the velocity changes that we already made saved in there as a web file. Uh, we can export it as MIDI. Which I guess is cool if you want to go and add in your... um your own drums afterwards in a different sampler and it's also got the velocity changes that we did it's really nice i think that is it in terms of exporting yeah i mean to be fair what more could you ask for like i think this is going to help a lot because what we do as producers we tend to go for the same sample packs over and over again when there could be like some hidden gems in some of these packs that we just don't explore. And now what you're going to get is like. like I could just change it to that. It's just so fast, which is obviously a great thing for all producers is to get something down that's fast but also very good sounding because it's re it's it's with like high quality samples that you've been collecting for however long um and it's just a new way to use them so yeah definitely check out exo by xln audio um and i hope this was helpful